Hello, it's Gem Games here once again, and in this video we're going to create this realistic head pop camera shake animation. So when we're walking, it will look like this, and when we're sprinting, it will look like this. And we will make the camera shakes work when our player's feet hits the ground. So it will be realistic. So yeah, let's get started. So what we want to do first is we want to create a new folder on the blueprints and we want to call this camera shakes. Let's open it and we want to right click and create a new blueprint class and we want to open all classes and we want to search for a legacy camera shake. Let's select that and let's call it CS player walk. Okay. Let's open it. Here we want to change this duration to 0.2 and this pitch we want to change the initial offset to 0 and amplitude I want to make it 0.75 and frequency 5 and I don't actually want to change anything else here. So let's compile, let's save and let's close this. Now let's duplicate this let's call it CS player sprint and let's open it here I want to change this duration to 0 0.25 now this amplitude I want to make this 0 0.5 and frequency 7 and I want it to be 0 the initial offset and on the yaw I want to set this to like 0.4 and frequency 5 and initial offset random also on the roll I want to make this 0.3 and frequency 2.5 and initial offset random okay let's compile let's save and let's close this now what we want to do is we want to go to the blueprints and to the animations and we want to first go to the walking forward animation. So what do we want to do here is we want to come to the side. And now we want to find the exact frame where our first feet the ground completely. So I think it's around here. I would say it's the frame four or five. Maybe, yeah, maybe frame four. Now on the notify track one, let's right click and add notify, skeleton notify. And actually we want to add a new notify and let's call this Camera shake notify. Okay, now let's go forward and let's find where the right feet hits the ground. So I think it's here at the 21. Let's right click, add notify, skeleton notifies, and now we can see our camera shake notify here that we just created. Okay, now let's go to the other walking animation, so walk B, for example, first. Let's find the same thing. So our right feet will be the first, and it will hit the ground. Here at the frame three. And now on the track one, right click and notify, skeleton notify, camera shake notify. Let's go forward, let's find the other I think it hits here at the frame 20. Right click, add notify, skeleton notify, camera shake notify. Walk left. Now let's move our camera a little bit so we can see better. So our left foot hits the ground here at the frame five, yes. Right click, add notify, skeleton notify, camera shake notify. 
let's go to the other. It hits ground on 22, frame 22, and notify, scale to notify, camera shake, notify. Walk right. The feet hits the ground on frame 4. And notify, scale to notify, camera shake, notify. Right foot, we hit the ground here. On the frame 23. Let's add a notify, skeleton notify, camera shake notify. Now sprint forward. Let's move our camera again. Let's see. It hits the ground at the frame 3, I think. Okay, skeleton notifies, camera shake notify. And right feet. On the frame 13. Right click and notify, skeleton notify, camera shake notify. Sprint forward left, let's see. I think it hits also on the frame 3. Notify, skeleton notifies, and camera shake notify. I think this hits on the frame 13. So let's add a notify, camera shake, notify. And forward, right. Let's see. Frame 3 again. Let's add the notify. And I think it should be here on the frame. Thirteen, I think, or twelve. Yeah, let's set it here. It doesn't matter that much. I'm gonna shake notify. Okay, now that we have all those done, let's save. Let's close. Now we can go to our animation blueprint. Let's actually create a new graph. Let's call this Notify Graph. Let's open it. And now when we right click and we search for a camera shake uh, 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 event and notify camera shake notify. Okay, the one we just created. So now we want to create some little code. So first we want to leave some space and right click and get player controller. Then we want to client start camera shake. And now on the shake, what we want to do is we want to get a select node and here what we want to do next is we want to get our velocity variable and we want to get vector length x y so length without the set axis now let's Move this a little bit further. And from here, we want to check if this is greater than. I would like to make this like 255 because 250 is our walking speed and 500 our sprinting speed. So 255, just to be sure. You can make it 251 if you want, but 255 is good enough for me. Okay, I like to leave some little space there, you know. So if we are going slower than 255. We want to select our player walk camera shake. If we are going faster, 
we want to select our layer sprint camera shake. Now we want to also add some other code here. So from the scale, we want to select float. And we want to also connect these to here. Now let's select these and press Q to align. This. So what I want to do, when we are going faster than 255, so it will pick A. I want to set this to 1. So the sprinting camera shake always plays with the 1, uh, the full uh, volume basically, or full strength. Okay. But when we are going slower, so when we are walking, I want to change that value a little bit. So let's map range clamped. Now let's get this value to the value. And let's map these. So out range A is 0 and B is 1. So when we're going this in range B value, it will be 1. And in range A, it will be 0. And we don't want to make this in range A 0, because I will actually show you quickly. So let's leave it to 0. And let's make this B 250, which is our max walking speed. So when we're going to 50, it will play at the full strength. And when we're going slower, it will scale until the zero. So let's compile, let's save all. Now when we go and play, I will show you, it works, but we have a little problem there. So we walk, we have this nice camera shake when we run. We have everything working pretty nicely, but I will show you soon now. So when we, for example, walk and we stop, you can see camera shake will still play when we are, have stopped. So that's the reason why I like to make this in range A value like 100. So when we are going slower than 100, it will not play, basically. So compile, save, and now when we do the same thing, let's actually put this to the full screen so you can see better. Now when we are doing the same thing, when we're walking here and we will stop, we will have only a little movement there anymore. Because before, if we set it to zero, the A value, sometimes when we stop, it will play full camera, stay, uh, camera shake still. Now it will only just move a little bit. So I think it's more realistic. And yeah, everything is working. Spring is working pretty nicely. And of course, you can adjust the values on the camera shakes however you want. But I think these are pretty good now. At least for me, I don't want to the walk camera shake to be that strong because I think the game, like when you're always walking, I don't think that the game has to, like, screen has to shake a lot because I think it, it can be annoying, I think. But yeah, it's your personal like opinion, but yeah. So yeah, I actually think that was all for this video. If you like what you saw, please click the like button and subscribe for more. And yeah, hope you have a great day and see you on the next one. Bye.